Okay, good morning again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I will have another set of example in getting the mean, variance, and standard deviation. So, this is my problem. Find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the random variable X representing of females teachers in a senior high school. So this is my given x, the probability of x. So we have 2, 3, and 4. So 2, this is represents the number of female. We have 30%. Then 3, we have 40%. And 4, we have 30%. So how will you get that, this one? So you will change again. 30% to decimal places so we need to change 30 percent to point 30 point 40 and point 30 so you multiply we have two times point 30 two times point 30 we have point six we have the point six here three times point 40 we have 1.2 and then 4 4 times 0.30 we have 1.2 so if you will add 0.6 plus 1.2 plus 1.2 again this is the total value of 3 so 1.6 plus 1.2 1.2 the answer is 3 so be careful okay how we will get the x squared take note this is the x squared uh, x squared so so we have represent as x the number of absences so 2 2 times 2 we have 4 3 times 3 we have 9 4 times 4 we have 16 so we have the x squared times p, p of x, we have 4 times 0.30, we have 1.2, 9 times 0.40, we have 3.6, and then 16 times 0.30, we have 4.8. So, we have get the summation of this one, x squared times p of x. So, 1.2 plus 3.6 plus 4.8. Point 0.2 plus 3.6 plus 4.8. We have a value of 9.6. So we have the value of 9.6 and though we, we, we will have getting the variance, we have summation of x squared times p of x minus the ev squared. Okay, this is the formula we have 9.6 minus 3 and so 3 we have to square this one this will be 9 and 9.6 so 9.6 minus 9 the answer is take note that this is squared our variance will be 0.6 and this is not yet finished so in getting the standard deviation we have square root of 0 0.6 what is the square root of 0 0.6 we have okay the answer is uh, 0.77 46 so guys uh, this is what you call our standard division 
so we are already done in getting our standard division so this is our third problem so the first step that you will do if you know if that will be the percentage you will change that into decimal just 